Fort Pownall was a British fortification built during the French and Indian War, whose remains are located at Fort Point State Park in Stockton Springs, Maine. The fort was named for Governor Thomas Pownall, who oversaw its construction. It never saw action, and was destroyed during the American Revolutionary War by the actions of both colonists and the British military to prevent its further use. The fort's remains were listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1969. Setting Fort Point State Park is located at the easternmost tip of Cape Jellison, a triangular peninsula which juts into Penobscot Bay at the mouth of the Penobscot River. The 120-acre park, established in 1974, includes, in addition to the ruins of Fort Pownall, the Fort Point Light. The Cape's eastern tip forms a narrow peninsula, with the fort's ruins on the high ground near its easternmost end. History In 1759, during the French and Indian War, Massachusetts Governor Thomas Pownall led the construction of a fort here, which he named Fort Pownall after himself. It was one of three significant forts which the British built on the major rivers in the northeast to cut off the native waterways to the ocean to prevent attacks on the British settlers. The fort was intended to secure the area for European settlement by driving off the remaining Norwich Wok and Penobscot Indians. Commander of the fort was Jedediah Preble. No battles ever took place at the fort. In 1775, British forces seized the cannons and powder. Later, a regiment of Continental Army soldiers burnt the blockhouse and filled in most of the ditches to prevent their use by the British. Description The fort, as built, was roughly 240 feet on each side, with an octagonal star-shaped earthwork surrounded by a moat or ditch 15 feet wide and 8 feet deep. Inside the earthworks was a blockhouse built out of squared timbers, measuring 44 feet on each side, and two stories in height. At each corner there was a diamond-shaped projection, where each side was 33 feet. Because the blockhouse and other wooden elements of the fort were burned, only the earthworks and stone foundations remain.